We are learning more about the oldest genetically intact skeleton ever to be found in the Americas. Chris Cascajo reports on the scientists analyzing the remains of a 12,000-year-old female called Naya. An underwater cave off the coast of Mexico, known as Hoyo Negro, offers a treasure trove of potential insights about the first inhabitants of the New World. The prize, the nearly intact skeleton of a teenage girl nicknamed Naya. Researchers believe she fell to her death in the cave, which flooded, preserving her bones along with those of many other animals. She's just one part of it, but by herself she's going to tell us a lot about the lives, particularly of, of uh, young women in the beginnings of America. Most of the skeleton is still underwater, except for the skull and three bones. Molecular anthropologist Brian Kemp specializes in extracting DNA from poorly preserved bones. He analyzed DNA passed from mother to offspring that came from one of Naya's teeth. What's really unique about being able to determine something about her DNA is it's a direct link. It's a genetic link to other Native American populations, both uh, prehistoric and contemporary populations. The Burke Museum here at University of Washington is home to Kennewick Man. Estimated to be 9,300 years old, it was the oldest human skeleton found in North America until the Naya discovery. Researchers are hopeful they are close to successfully extracting DNA from Kennewick Man after several previous failed attempts. Hoyo Negro lead archaeologist Jim Chatters also analyzed Kennewick Man. Even though Naya is some 3,000 years older, Chatters noticed some similarities between the two skulls. Mm -hmm. You see the kind of projection of the of the mouth area, but I mean, so many details in common, even though she's female and very, very female, and he's very, very male. Supporting the idea that Native Americans are descended from Siberian ancestors who migrated across the Bering Strait to North America between 26,000 to 18,000 years ago. The scientists say they will analyze Naya's teeth next, which will help them learn more about her diet. Chris Cascajo, CCTV, Seattle.